Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna show you five key elements for a strong homepage on a small business website. And I'm gonna use real examples from the hundreds of websites I've built over the last several years. So let's get right into it. So one thing that's really important on your homepage and your entire site is your logo. Uh, so my first tip for a homepage is to highlight your logo. I don't always do this, but I often like to create a different design on the homepage that highlights the logo. So on a normal page of this website, and on most websites, you might have the logo at the top, um, pretty small, uh, but still highlighted. But to highlight it in an even stronger way, I like to maybe show it in like the hero image like this, much larger, just to give a, a stronger first impression of the brand. Here's another example of that where a regular page you know, looks like this with the logo again in the top left next to the menu. But on the home page, it's much larger just to give a stronger first impression. So make sure to highlight your logo um, and consider making it larger on the home page for that stronger impression. So my next key element for a strong home page is to include a tagline or slogan at the top. I actually wrote a whole post on this and included six tips on how to create a slogan for your website. This is also like a tagline. Uh, this isn't really a common term in uh, web design, but it's something I like to do. And here's an example from one of my clients. And so this is basically a strong kind of headline um, under your logo and menu. You know, having a strong message here that in you know a few words, maybe two lines, gets your point across, kind of introduces what you do in a really succinct way. So this is a fleet service company. So it says 24 seven mobile road service mobile truck and trailer repair in Atlanta, McDonough and Macon, Georgia. So I like to encourage this on a homepage because it gets the point across really quick. I mean, people don't even have to scroll. Uh, they see your logo. And then the first thing you're probably gonna look at is this tagline here. And they're gonna know where you are and they're gonna know what you do. So this is great for your human visitors. It's also really good for uh, search engine optimization or SEO because a lot of times this can be a heading uh, an h1 tag which is really important for seo so you know if this line or this line was s was an h1 tag it's going to be a strong signal to search engines as to what your website is about so you're going to have a better chance of ranking for you know mobile truck and trailer repair and then with these uh, city names after it here's another quick example of a site that's doing that well we make home inspections easy as the first line. It's a certified residential commercial inspection services throughout Southern Oregon. So same idea there. And when you have that there, you know that if a visitor takes even a few seconds to read the first few words on your website, they're going to know who you are and what you do. The next key element for a home page, in my opinion, is clear and obvious navigation. So obviously any site should have some obvious navigation at the top in some form. You know, most websites are gonna have a menu like this. So people know when they're browsing a website that they can use this navigation. But once they scroll down, uh, that navigation is gonna be gone unless it's some kind of like fixed sticky uh, menu at the top. So you wanna make sure on your homepage you're giving people the opportunity to get deeper into your website. So in this case, we do have these secondary service links here to get into different uh, pages of the website. Here's a button to view all services. If we scroll down the home page, there's a contact form. And then if they get all the way down to the footer, there's another services menu um, so that we're, we're giving people multiple methods of getting deeper into the website. Because if they had to scroll all the way back up to the top, it might not seem like a big deal, but you might lose a percentage of people just because you're not giving them multiple ways to navigate throughout your website. So make sure your website has the clear navigation at the top on the home page and some ways to navigate um, once they scroll down the page. For the next element of a strong home page, I'm gonna stay on this site and uh, it's actually calls to action. So having strong and uh, several calls to action on the home page because people even if you give the clear navigation, they might not navigate past your homepage. So you do wanna give them opportunities to take action. So if we go to the top of this page, um, you got the phone number and some contact info at the top. Right in this main area, we do have two calls to action in the form of buttons to request a consultation or redeem a gift. 
Here's the services links I mentioned, and there's some specials. So the phone number is listed again. And if they get to the bottom, there is another form that they can fill out. And if they get all the way to the bottom, there's contact information again. So there's plenty of opportunities for people to connect with this business if they're interested, even if they don't navigate any farther uh, than the homepage. So we're not requiring them to you know, find the contact information on a contact page, but we're providing it right on the homepage. And speaking of not leaving the homepage, I think a lot of people are scared that people won't leave the homepage. So they're tempted to put all their content on the homepage and put it up at the top because there's also scared people aren't even gonna scroll down. And some people won't, but most people know how to navigate a website. Um, so it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. So this last tip uh, for a strong homepage is to make it complete, but not overkill. And by that, I mean, don't be tempted to put way too much stuff on the homepage so that it's cluttered. So I did some quick searching and found this website that's a pretty good example of this. Uh, this is not a website I designed, but I think it is a pretty good example of putting way too much stuff at the top. So you can see even in this top navigation, uh, these two sections here, there's a, there's a ton of information. There's a search bar, there's online chat, there's phone number, there's the main navigation, there's a few taglines here with a plumbing license and then another kind of tagline up here. So this is all good information. Um, and I'm guessing the person who built this website felt kind of pressured to put everything at the top um, so that they give every opportunity to the visitor to know everything about the business and to take action. So it's good in some ways, but my opinion is that it just gets a little bit too cluttered so that people don't know what to do. You know, do they chat? Do they call? Do they book an appointment? Do they search? So I'm more of a proponent of not being tempted to cram everything on the homepage and put it at the top, but follow some of my other tips so that people can easily navigate and find their way through the website without being overwhelmed with too much information right at the top of the homepage. And the site overall is pretty busy. So I think a lot of visitors are gonna to struggle to find the basics of what they're looking for and kind of know what to do next because nothing is really featured. Uh, there's just so much going on. So those are my five elements for a strong homepage on a small business website. I'm sure I've missed some, so I'd love to hear what you guys think. If there's some elements that you like to include on a homepage, uh, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about my ideas, uh, feel free to comment on that as well. If you found this helpful, please uh, like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I've done a ton of videos on web design and plan to do more in the future. So if you subscribe, you won't miss the next one.